If you guys haven't been on Twitter today, then you're probably unaware there's an orchestrated hit on academics today. Like, it's like an orchestrated attack. You can see, like, the tweets go out in unison. And they're all going viral. And why today out of all days, right? Like, they're bringing up things that are, like, super old in order to tear down academics. And it's kind of like, it's odd. And it's so odd that it can't be a coincidence. This random account by this random person with, like, 300 followers they post the academic's great victim. The core followers have screen grabs and text messages, and she's all scarred up. Mind you, like, this information already came out, like, months ago, right? Like, when it was fresh, everything has already been covered. I think ACT did, like, a full hour dedicated to this already. So it's just kind of odd to just bring it up out the blue. If she was willing, why did they drag her across concrete? The evidence is damn it. Now... Uh, now, now, this right here, in terms of, like, them, like, dragging her across concrete, like, that has been, like, debunked in the actual footage. But nonetheless, bro, like, I'm not here to speak on guilt or mm, who's innocence, bro, because quite frankly, bro, like, if Act Friends did something weird, you know, that's for them to handle in court. But I just find it, like, like it, it's just an odd coincidence, right? And then this random person, you know, their post, there's 7.2 million views. But it doesn't just stop at this person, right? Because, like, almost about, like, an hour later, another account, out the blue, started tweeting about academics. But this time, it was taking a video out of context. An hour after the tweet that you've seen, this person here then posted this video right here, essentially trying to make out academics to being like some type of violent malefactor, right? Who was like, you know, like berating his woman, which is just not true. If you watch the video, what's going on is academics brought his girl at the time to Fresh and Fit. She's acting belligerent, trying to fight all the female employees of Fresh and Fit, including this lady right here, Car Red. So academics is telling her to chill. He's telling her to stop. Now, she goes reaching as you got, man, listen, man, but we're going to actually do the play-by-play -play right here, man. All right, now listen, I can understand not liking academics, y'all, all right, but going to this extent to lie is crazy, all right? So, right here. She's goes, so she goes reaching for the bag. A academics, like, 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 a, like, a pulls the bag back, like, nah, chill, like, bro, stop. Now, who who knows why he don't want her to have this bag, right? She's drunk. She's arguing. Maybe there's a weapon in this bag, right? Maybe there's something in this bag that he knows, yo, she's not in her right state of mind. If she gets access to this bag, it could be really bad. But still, nothing as violent is happening, man. It, 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 you know, it, I just find it like it's an odd coincidence, bro, that all of a sudden, it's multiple pages to just keep on po like it's like at least like five like 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 five different pages had like viral posts regarding this video right here and regarding the case. He's telling the employee too to stop. So academics, yo, right now, yo, he's just trying to separate her from her. That's it. Where's the manhandling? Yo, and she's clearly not scared because she even took off his hat and threw it. She took off his hat and threw it. Like, she's not intimidated. She's not scared. Like, she's not intimidated. She's not scared at all, bro. Like, yo, like come. Yeah. So to... Do this. It's insane. And this person didn't just stop too. Here, here, watch this. And in response to that video, this man writes academics. I dare you academics to put hands on a man like that. Shaking my effing head. Y'all call Kendrick a wife beater and it's just projection. That video proves that academics is a wife beater. How? A belligerent drunk chick was acting out of her mind. 
And he's telling her to stop. But this is just a coordinated attack. And even this tweet got 4 million views. It's just really odd. Like, super odd. And the person who's posting this is like a huge Kendrick Lamar stan. I'm talking about like super stan. I knew this person was a stan. When they listed Absol in their list of top five rappers of all time, like, come on, bro. <laughs> all right. So this could just be like a stan who's just going after academics, right, in favor of Kendrick Lamar. But it still don't make sense about the other accounts. Why are they tweeting in unison about academics? That's the like answer I don't have, right? I don't have the answer to that particular question. It could be that academics was talking about the sales of Polo G and the label got mad. He was talking about sales of other people and the labels got mad. Who knows? Now, what I have an issue with, though, isn't like the fans and the stands doing what the fans and the stands do. Is when you have media personalities incarcerated or not incarcerated actually speaking on this, right? Actually going off and attacking academics for unsubstantiated claims. Like Tax Stone. So apparently Tax Stone was in a Twitter space and Tax Stone is speaking about these allegations and going off on academics. And it's kind of like, bro, like, do you understand the situation that you're currently in, bro? Like, you're currently locked up for murder. Like, you have way better things to do than to, like, go off on academics or engage in academics rumor mills that's unsubstantiated. And honestly, what academics is going through is the same Tupac went through. And if Tupac ain't changed, I mean... Nah, yo, I'm just stopping here, bro. Let's not compare the two, all right? Pac was convicted. Pac had his day in criminal court and was convicted. What academics is currently going through is an absolute wash. Like, it's a situation where the police came, looked at the surveillance camera, found no wrongdoing. But what's even crazy is the police investigated wrongdoing with academics' homies, not even him, while he was asleep. So it's not even a situation where like, yo, academics, you know, was caught on camera doing something. No, it's the, no academics homie, right? Like she came to the crib, engaged in something. The police came and said, yo, like, bro, like, bro, everything is here. Like we ain't see no dragon on the concrete. We ain't see no woman who was severely inebriated. No crime here. And now, and now this is going to civil court. So it's not the same thing, right? Pac was a criminal case. Like, let's just make that clear. Yeah. No, I think we need academics to ain't going through the Tupac went through. Let's get <laughs> clear. Tupac wasn't out here trying to shoot the five with bitches all day either. So see, this is the difference. This is the difference between the two. You got one that bullies women a lot, right? Now it's rape accusations popping up on him. You understand? This dude is a known bully towards women. You know what I mean? He's not a known bully towards men. Soon as he talks some physical gangster the man he talks about how he's gonna call the cops on him so you can't respect that type of bullying because you're not actually you know serious about the, the physical things that you actually presenting to people you know what i mean so yo is ceo i feel like because tax stone is in prison he's like severely behind on like the agenda mills right i i feel like like this little like narrative he's trying to push would have hit a lot different like six months ago, right? But when you take a look at what have occurred, when you take a look at academics giving Lil Baby his address and telling him to pull up, giving Meek Mill his address and telling him to pull up, and you know what's crazy too, though? Yo, even if academics didn't, you know, invite or engage a fist of cuffs with Meek Mill and Lil Baby. Stupid I'm down to squab with you. I really don't think you can fight, and I really don't think you want no problems with me, and I really don't respect your hands, nothing. If you beat me up, so what? I don't care, but that's how much I think you are. You can look at those situations and clearly like come to a conclusion of, yo, those men threatened to get street with academics for reporting. Like, you see, academics is not you, Tax Stone. You see, and that's why I feel like Tax Stone has a tough time understanding, bruh. Tax don't have a tough time understanding that not everybody is Neanderthals, right? Right? Like, like some of us are evolved specimens, right? We are evolved specimens, right? We're not like 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 you, tax owner, right? We're like, yo, if a street dude invites violence to us for giving our opinions, we're not gonna grab a gun, go to his concert looking for trouble, and then having, you know, and then being forced to use the gun. 
and then getting beat up and got the gun taken from us and then running away, right? And then eventually, like, you know, at the cause of you using a gun because you went looking for trouble, you're now doing life in prison and, and you threw away your illustrious, promising podcasting career. That's not academics, right? So when academics tell people like Meek Mill and others who are inviting violence his way, when he said, hey, listen, bro, let's box. Let's hop in a, you know, a, a boxing ring and do it for charity. Let's box for charity. And they say, no. I want to send goons to your crib, but actually, it's, hey, hey, bro, if you send goons to my crib, bro, I'm going to call the police and defend myself, right, like a taxpaying citizen. You know, if you're not looking down upon them, like, it's, bro, like, it's, it's just asinine. And then also, too, like, this narrative, bro, that, like, these women are damsel in distress. Like, bro, you're not talking about women from, like, the 1700s, homie. Like, you're talking about, like, a 2023, 2024 city girl, bro. Yo, these women are online popping it, bro. Listen, yo, these women are are like like bro. I here posted up man, right with the Glock in a purse, bro. These the women, bro, who online talking about f ninja. When I see you, it's up. My homies gonna drag you, bro. These women is out here throwing up sets, bro. These ain't damsel in distress, bro. They're throwing up the set. Like, come on, bro. Like, like, like what are we talking about here? Right? And it's not bullying if he's given his critique on women. And the reason why academics, you know, would say, yo, I'm going to call the police on a man and not on a woman is because women are usually not the ones saying, yo, I'm going to pull up and shoot you. No. Right? Like, they have different angles. You feel me? Like, their angle is making up fake gay rumors. So, just like I said, it's definitely a completely a complete difference, you know what I mean? Because you out here, like, you know, the way he be talking about, like, you know, it's a lot of men that feel like Megan Thee Stallion is lying, right? And I understand that, right? Cool. But it's a lot of men that's doing too much towards Megan Thee Stallion also. Like, I don't even know her, and I'll be ready to knock niggas the fuck out because they be... Bro, you have bigger problems to work. See, yo, like, this is the problem with you, man. Tax doing... I'm... I'm I'm pointing at you, Taxstone. This the problem with you, Taxstone. Right? Your priorities are not in order, man. Bro, you want to knock somebody out on behalf of Megan and Stahin, bro, while you behind bars doing life. Yo, figure out how to get out the jail cell before figuring out how to go back to jail. <laughs> All right? Figure out how to get out first before figuring out, you know, creative ways to go back. You want to beat somebody up for giving an opinion about Megan Thee Stallion. As if Megan Thee Stallion hey, like, isn't a proven liar. Because they be just wowing too much because I be like, I don't see y'all have the same energy with men. You know what I mean? And I have a big issue with that because if I'm having an argument with a woman and a man steps up and he says something, I will take out that aggression on that man. I will say, you know what? This The woman don't deserve this anyway. Let me bring this to their doorstep. You know what I mean? So I don't like, I really don't like men that be out here really acting like they going to fight women and shit like that and talking crazy to them. And I feel like a lot of dudes do that because a lot of women... Yo, when has academics ever acted like he was going to fight women? You see, this is the thing, right? Where, like, this is just, like, verbal masturbation, right? This is just Taxstone wanting to hear himself talk, bro. When has academics ever said he wanted to fight Megan Thee Stallion? When has academics ever said he wanted to fight, you know, Carisha? When has academics ever said he wanted to fight, like, Glorilla? Yo, giving opinions, or even harsh opinions, bro. Yo, giving harsh opinions about women now are not allowed. Now, 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 listen, man. I haven't done the research yet because, like, quite frankly, bro, like, Tax Stone right now is a, no, a non-factor in media. But I'm sure you could probably go through Tax Stone's podcast and see him give some harsh critiques about a multitude of women. I'm sure Tax Stone has some critiques about Nicki Minaj and others, right? So I'm man, cut protectors it, bro. out there. And when I mean protectors, I'm just I'm not talking about just father and brother. I'm just talking about thy neighbor. These niggas won't protect you. These niggas cause they can't protect themselves. Cause it's a lot of bitch assness in the fucking community. And that's my biggest thing with, with Megan. Like I, I just like I tell people, I think Megan should not have been allowed to testify because she was already deemed a liar, which makes her um not a reliable witness. So she should not have been able to even testify on him. Because if you go on one show crying tears during emotions and you lie, you say I didn't have sex with this dude, but then you could get on the stand and say you did have sex with the dude. You're a clear liar. So we should not believe anything that you're being said because we are proven a liar. 
Yo, 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 you tell me how anything Taxon just said is any... What? Yo, so Taxon just reiterated everything, like, academics has ever said about Megan Stein. Hey, bro, we don't believe her. Like, she's a liar. Right? Yo, she, yo she's a documented liar. Yo, she has lied on multiple poor occasions. That's academic sentiment on Megan Stein. <laughs> so, yo, how are you going to repeat exactly what academics have been saying and then say you want to knock out academics for saying that about Megan and Stein, right? But everything ties in shortly, right? Listen, man, yo, like, it's tax stone, bro, right? He's not no A-plus podcaster, right? So he goes off on tangents, but everything would tie in to what took place today. But at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, dudes, the way they be coming to her and shit like that, all that aggression, nigga, I'll smack fire out you for some shit like that because it's not it's not right. It's not righteous whatsoever. And it's because you know that you could do that. You're not going to do that with these men. Soon as you start, soon as you start talking, and he, soon as he start dissing the little baby in them, the first thing he brings up to the dudes is, oh, yeah, and I'll call the DA on you, the Fulton County DA. He don't say that when he dissing young Miami in them. Why would he? <laughs> They don't threaten to come with guns. Low baby DM academics for his address. Ac bro, academics gave him his address. Right? Now, now even that is dumb. Right? Like, if I'm, listen, if I was talking to academics, I'll say, bro, academics, bro, like, don't give no rapper your address, bro. Like, that's, right? Like, that's not even, bro, like, we don't play those Neanderthal games, bro. Like, we're not engaging with, like, the low lives at their own games, right? But according to Tax Stone, academics is somewhat tough now, right? Because he gave his address when Baby asked for the address and Baby never pulled up. So is Baby a punk for pump faking with Ack and not, and not pulling up? Yo, Tax Stone is just all over the place. And at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you exactly what this reduces to. Tax Stone is hating, man. Right? Tax Stone looks at academics, right? The multi million millions. Right, the multi million dollar car fleet, the multi million dollar house. He looks at academics, man, and he says, Damn, that could have been me. I was next up, and academics came and surpassed me. Because he know, he know young Miami and them can't physically do shit. But as soon as it's a man, you know what I mean? It's a whole, and that's the thing. We can't do that as men. We got to we gotta be respectful to our, to our, to our neighbors. We got to, we, and we got to protect the women. Like, that shit the dudes doing with Megan Thee Stallion is, like, out of pocket. Like, all the way out of pocket. I'm going to be honest. I think well, that, that shit is real nigga shit, if I'm being all the way honest. Not the well, getting on Meg, not all of that. That's you think it's real nigga shit because you're not gonna fight a man. That's why you no, think it's real nigga that's shit. That's why I think it's real. Are nigga you gonna shit. Are you gonna no, fight no, no, a man? No, no, no. That, let me let me tell you why it's real nigga shit. It's real nigga shit because I talk crazy to everybody, right? Not me. If I'm after, academics, talks crazy to everybody. He does. That's facts. He talks crazy to these women. Are they physically gonna attack him? No. He then talks crazy to the men and says, if you physically going to attack me, here's going to be the consequence. That's no different than a nigga saying. Uh, it's very different because he doesn't. Yo, even if we want to buy into this narrative that academics have said, hey, listen, man, if you run up on me, I'm going to call the police. Which, like, I'll be real. That's like academics from like three seasons ago, which, again, Taxstone is behind bar, so he is kind of late with his news. The academics in 2024, man, is popping it. Like, Ack in 2024, man, he feel me. Hey, it's wearing the Cuban links, right? It's showing off about 30 choppers at his crib. Ack inviting boxers, saw rappers to fight, dropping the location for rappers, bro. So he probably is talking about the academics from like three seasons ago. This academics right here wants to smoke with rappers. Like, he wants to smoke. But even if he didn't and want to call the police, that's perfectly fine too, right? Because due to your decisions, you have different cars that are dealt to you, right? It's not his fault, my fault, or any civilian's fault, right? That you know that you were a, 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 a dummy enough to hop in the streets and swear away <laughs> your right to call the police and be a law-abiding citizen, homie. That's your fault. And if you regret doing that, then take it out on like your quote-unquote street partners, bro. Not civilians like academics and myself. 
present those same things to the women. He never says to these women that he's going to call the cops. He, exactly, and that's my issue. So you're only playing this game with people because you have the defense of the cops, and the women don't that's have the a defense. Same, that's they don't the same have as nobody standing up for them. Got the, That's the same as the nigga only doing it because he got the defense of the gun. If a nigga... It's the same thing as a ninja like Tax Stone doing it because he feels like he got a hundred dudes behind him who's going to crash out for him, right? How come you can be in a street fraternity, but I can't, you know, call the police? Like, bro, you know, that's how we level the playing field, man. You feel me? Nigga put his hands on me, I'm blowing his brains away. That's no different than saying if a nigga put his hands on me, I'm calling the cops. No, it's, it's the same his thing. All right, look. It's the same thing as this. I have a lot of people, a lot of men, who decided to tell me how they felt about me when I got behind prison bars. I never knew they felt this way about me when I was free. They never said this to me because they possibly thought that they might see me. See, when the people think he might see Megan Thee Stallion you know, or Young Miami, it's okay. But when you think that you might see, you know, a little baby or one of these other guys, then it's, yeah, and I'll call the district attorney on you. Like, what? That's, that's not right. That's not yeah, right whatsoever. Ask. It is right. It's hard. Yo, you see how street dudes whine and complain when you even a playing field, bro? How's it right that you are part of a street fraternity, a brotherhood? Some may call it a gang. I call it a street fraternity, right? You're part of that, and you have a thousand dudes riding with you. I'm by myself. Like, for example, I'm academics, right? I'm by myself, right? Lil Baby is a part of like three different gangs. Right? I'm by myself. But, but somehow it's unfair that if I tell him, hey, bro, if you try to hurt me for giving my opinion, I'm going to call the police. That's wrong, man. Stop. Bro, go cry a river, man. Well, that's selective. That's selective. Go cry a river, man. You're being very picky about it's who you're going to be disrespectful to. It's really not. I'm talking just as aggressive to everybody. There's just going to be a different consequence if you're a woman versus a different consequence if you're a man. If, the, if, if academic said... If any of these rap niggas put their hands on me, I'm shooting them. Would you respect that? Um, no, no, I, w I wouldn't respect that because um, that's not his thing, you know. But the thing is, is that if you're talking aggressively and you're talking about, it's like this. We from. Wait, I'm so confused. If he called the police, you don't respect it. If he says, "I'm gonna handle my own candle and blow them down." If they come to me, you don't respect it. So what do you, like, bro, what do you respect, bro? <laughs> bro, what do you respect? Um, no. No, I, w I wouldn't respect that because um, that's not his thing. You know, but the thing is, is that if you're talking aggressively and you're talking about, it's like this. We're from a community, right, where if you tell somebody, you know, suck my dick, you could die for it because it's basically you're inviting him to your penis and he's a straight man. So You're from a community where that can happen. You are from a community where that can happen, right? right? You are from a community where that can happen. Not a we. I grew up uh, around adults who are, like, who's not going to jail for life over words, homie. Uh, listen, man, I don't know where you grew up. I don't know, like, what type of, like, animals or Neanderthals you grew up around, bro. But I grew up around people, bro, who... Who is not going to leave their babies, their kids, their mamas, their careers, their ambitions, and sit down for a life over at words? Uh, no, no, bro. No, no, please, bro. Feel me? And most black folks isn't about to go ahead and do a bid over words, homie. All right, so you grew up in an environment where people are that stupid. Not us. The overwhelming majority of us right, are around have family members, no people have, fr like, have a friend group of sensible human beings who are not going to do life in prison over words, homie. So you're basically inviting them to a, to a gay sexual intercourse, so this goes somewhere, right? If you tell a man, you know, you know how feel about his mother, there's a lot of dudes out here sensitive about their mother. He might jump out the window. You know all the trigger words to get hurt in our neighborhood. See, in white neighborhoods, they say that shit. Suck my cock, buddy, and it's just a laugh. But in our culture, it's not. The same way we could call each other nigga here and there, but if a white person says nigga, we turn around like, Err! it's a stop. You understand? So the point is, is that how do we how do we allow you to speak like this to women, right? And yes, you do speak like that to men, but every time you speak like that to Yo, th yo, this is blowing my mind, bro. Seeing a convicted murderer who literally took somebody's soul and took their life for nothing, to see him speak like this as if he's the moral authority, yo, it's mind-blowing.
Like, and I'll be real, I have to applaud this. To be this socially unaware takes talent. To men, you're talking about the district attorney because you think young Miami can't beat your ass. So this is why when Saucy Santana popped up and said, I'ma fuck you up, I said, Yes, Saucy, go kick his ass. Go kick his fucking ass. Because you a man and you gay, and he gotta deal with it differently now. You understand? Because I'm gonna be honest, if 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 I was in civilization, you know, if I was in civilization, all I would do is just tell these dudes what they're not gonna do. That's it. I'm going to just be like, shut the fuck up. Don't say it again. Because if I see you, I'm going to grab your ass. I'm going to I'm emasculate you. I'm going to turn you into the bitch you are. Yo, this man has been in prison a little too long. Now he's saying that how he's going to deal with any type of conflict, right? How he's going to deal with a joust of words is he's going to sexually assault various men who have an unfavorable opinion about him. Yo, I don't know if, like, the parole board is watching this video, man, or if the judge watching this, bro. But please, man, keep that man in prison. He's been institutionalized, bro. There's no saving that animal, man. That man is beyond reproach, homie. Listen, I done seen people go to jail and turn gay. I done seen people go to jail and turn Muslim, man. All right? But I ain't never seen somebody turn gay this fast, bro. Like what, bro? Like, it's been four years, right? Like, yo, like, usually, like, around a four-year mark, man, you feel me, right? Like, they're just entering into the closet. For, like, for you to go to jail and within four years, man, like, drop your flag and turn into a raging, like, homosexual, bro, within four years, and now you are open homosexual? It's crazy. Bro, this man is bragging about taking it. You understand? I love it. I'm emasculating, man. I love it. I love it. Speaking we know. Yes, Rocky. Yes. <laughs> no, but, all right, so, Pax, if he was talking to these women, like, Make the stallion you such and such and such. And if you do anything or send anybody at me, I'm calling the police. Would you respect that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would respect right. it. I would because then it would be the same thing you're doing with the men. But you you know that she's not physically capable of doing something to you. And Megan Thee Stallion might fuck that nigga up. That nigga never had a fight. Megan Thee Stallion twerks 72 times a day. That bitch kind of strong. So she might fuck that nigga up for all we know. But he don't think that because he thinks she a woman. So he goes at her and does shit like that. And that's why I be like, yo, bro, this is sad, bro. Like, where are these women's brothers at? Where they cousins at? Where's the... where? Because where, it's like... You're, Yo, yo, listen, yo, let's get to the point, man. Stand on what I stand on. There's no compromises in me. You understand? Yo, how did this man turn the academics, grape accusations? Well, it's not, it's not even academics, grape accusations, right? Because academics is, is not accused of grape, right? How did he turn the, acus the academics rumor mill into, like, a soliloquy about himself? Bro, this is, like, real narcissism. I, I, I'm gonna remain alive. The moment you try to take me, try to take me away from my family, a weaver dirt you, motherfucker. That's just what it is over here. You understand? And I'm 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 a protector of myself, and I'm a protector of others. And I really feel that it's, it's sad when I see women don't have that type of protection. I knew that Megan Thee Stallion was gonna leave Partisan Fontaine. I said she done with why Nicki Minaj is with Zoo. Her things was lies. And Bro, if people seen thing. her back in the days, if she was out and about in the spots, we probably. Would uh uh here let's put it right here but yeah speak on it like that's all i'm saying like that and it's nothing wrong with you talking crazy either jameson but i'm gonna tell you just like i told just like i told um the kid flacco bro bro what do i have to do with this man what do i what do i have to do with this bro <laughs> leave me out of it please yo listen yo and the difference between me and you tax stone bro right, is is I don't put myself in bad situations, right? I'm not going, listen, and, and, like, and I don't take it to the streets with nobody. I just don't, all right? I'm not masquerading as a big blood who's going to pull up and hurt you and, and you know, and, like, send you to God if you play with me. <laughs> no, bro, like, fam, you know, words don't hurt me, <laughs> right? Like, you feel me, bro? Like, if you want to, like, like, cuss me out, call me a beast, say, suck my D, hey, bro, <laughs> God bless you. You feel me? You was the one with the fragile ego, you know, who threw who threw away your life over words, right? Who you went looking for that man that night, and you got what you deserve. When you think that you can say anything to anybody, you have to understand it's going to be repercussions. You understand? Jay-Z told me. Jay-Z told me out of his own mouth. He said, Tax, 
you know, we didn't like a lot of things that Wendy Williams would say about us. A lot of things was lies. And if people seen her back in the days, if she was out and about in the spots, we probably would have did something to her. He said, the difference with you is that you're telling the truth about people and the truth hurts. And he said, when you tell the truth about people, it hurts more than a lie. So he said, think about what you're saying about people and know that you're going to have to deal with those consequences if you see people because you be out and about. So the point is, is that when you decide to be a podcast or a person that comments on people, it could be their craft. It could be a person who write books. They might get mad and say, what you mean? You don't like my book, nigga. I'm going to fuck you up. And this is what I went through. I, I told the dude that his music was whack every day that I could tell it to him. Every day I could tell him his shit was corny, I would tell him. Yo, yo, listen, yo. At this point, he's just rambling, right? But I'm gonna stop in here, man. I just, listen, yo. I think it's shameful. Like honestly, I do think it's shameful, bro. Right? The tax stone is joining in on the academics hate trade, cause academics and tax stone ain't really never really had no issues, right? Academics signed Troy Av to his podcasting deal, but you go and hate a man, and you know, and contribute to false accusations on that man because he signed your op to a podcast deal, bro. Y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this, all right? Do you guys feel like these accusations, you know, is a farce, is undeserved? And do you guys feel like like the media storm today specifically was orchestrated? Yo, let me know, all right? And if you're still watching, man, click on this video right here, man, to find out why Big U just warned WAC 100 while responding to the rumors that he got Nipsey killed. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.